Yo, what is up guys? Grim here. So today's video is going to teach you how to roll your maps. We're talking about chisels, we're talking about alks and Val orbs. So we're going to spend a little bit more time on Val orbs than the others, but this video is a tend to be kind of a short snap fire one, so you guys can kind of get this information, get out and move on. It's kind of going to be broken up to a few times. So today's video is currency. Tomorrow's is probably going to be sextants. A lot of detail on that. I've discovered a lot more stuff about them. And then lastly, we're going to talk about Zana mods and prophecies. So to start off with though, we've got our, um, our currencies here and we're going to go into some detail. So we'll start off with the alchemy orb. The alchemy orb is the most basic level of rolling your maps. So everyone needs to know you need to use an alchemy orb on every single map. And I'm going to explain why. So a lot of people are talking about sustain, how can I sustain my maps, how can I get more loot, all this kind of stuff. So the alchemy orb is the answer. When you alchem map, it goes from having no modifiers on it to having one to eight kind of modifiers on it. Um, you can have anywhere in between that, and each of these modifiers adds item quantity, item rarity, and monster pack size. So why are these important? These are really important because item quantity is on the map is very specific. What this stat does is it actually increases the amount of maps you get back from that map. So when you're looking at item quantity, um, the map might have two maps that drop, right? But if I alk it and I get 50% more, I'll get three and so on and so forth. If I got four, I'd get six kind of thing. So item quantity is essential and um, it's very, very important to getting your map returns. Uh, it's completely different to gear. Um, item quantity on gear has no effect on map drops, but the local amount of item quantity on the map does. So very, very important to alk every single map. No exceptions. Uh, if you don't have alchemy orbs, buy alchemy orbs. You're always going to make your money back off alchemy map and you're always going to over sustain your maps, at least um, in physical maps. You might not get higher tiers or the same tier, but you will get some amount of maps back because you're alking your maps. So the next question is, do I reroll my maps um, for higher item quantity now that I know it's so good? Um, no, I personally don't. Some people do, especially on Guardian maps and stuff like that. Um, but in as a rule of thumb, if I can run the map and it doesn't have stuff like Reflect or Temporal Chains on it, I will keep the map and I will just run the map. However, if it does have Elemental Reflect on it or something like that, I can't run. Uh, it'll be different for every player. So maybe you guys can't run um, Enfeeble or More Monster Life or something like that. You guys will know what mods you don't like to run. Just scour and alk those one back. But um, if it's runnable, just run it. I don't think there's any problem with running a lower item quantity map because the more currency you invest into re-rolling it, you're kind of already losing before you even start the map because like every time you scour alk one, you're basically losing a chaos. So if I do that three times on a map, I now have to make four Chaos 3 to make one Chaos back, um, which is just not realistic. You're not going to gain that much currency from going higher quantity on the map. So if you Alka map and it's runnable, run it. If it's not, scour Alk until it is. That's basically my rule of thumb. Make sure there's an Alk on every map. Moving on, chisels. So why are chisels so good? Why are they so expensive? Um, should I be using them? Should I not be using them? What's going on? Okay, so chisels. There's a nice, really easy rule of thumb here. So chisels, basically what they do is it increases the quantity of a map by 5% per chisel when you use it on a white map. If you use it on a rare map, you're only going to get 1% increase, so always be using chisels on white maps. That's the only time it's ever worth it. Don't chisel up a rare map. <laughs> but chisels, as you can see here, add 5% increased item quantity to a map, but they don't add other things like pack size or item rarity or anything, which are also very good specifically pack size. So chisels basically, as we just talked about, are going to increase your map returns by an amount. You can have a maximum of 20% increased item quantity on there from chisels. So at its base, if we're getting two maps back again and we get 20%, we get like an amount, a fraction of a map back. But um, you will eventually get returns because of chisels. However, the reason I don't really like chisels as much is that when you're chiseling a map and then you alk it, as you can see here, um, the modifiers dilute the effect of the chisels. If it was a more multiplier on top, so if it was like the map, the rare map amount, and then multiply that by 20%, it would be much better. But chisels are very expensive right now. It's about one chaos for two, so it's two chaos to even um, kind of chisel up a map. It's very similar to alking and scouring and kind of rerolling your maps. You're kind of already spending a bunch of money before you're even in the map, so you're kind of defeating yourself and cutting into profits before you even get started. So you're probably thinking now, well, don't chisels suck? No, chisels are actually very good in the right situation. So that two chaos that it costs to chisel a map and give you 20% um, additional kind of returns, 
when you put that on high tier maps which have a very high net worth so like we're talking guardian maps tier 15 maps and stuff like that um, it can be worth it that 20 percent increased quantity is actually very valuable because if that 20 percent actually causes you to drop another map that's like profit right that's like 15 to 20 chaos profit off the guardian map so the rule of thumb i like to use with chisels is you chisel your high tier maps so we're talking red maps um, guardian maps and you kind of leave alone the low tier maps there is an exception to this rule if you're playing with a party chisels become more and more worth it because the kind of um, map bonus gets multiplied by your group bonus multiplied by the magic it kind of all works together it doesn't work quite as i just said but um the idea is that the more people you have the more worth it it becomes to invest more and more currency in the maps because we'll be getting more per map which is very very interesting so chisels the rule of thumb high tier maps yes guardian maps yes yellow maps mm, and then white maps no unless you're running with a group so that's going to be chisels for you guys so now we'll move on to the mighty vile orb and then we'll tie it all up at the end and kind of go over it one more time so the mighty vile orb is very very sought after right now it's worth about one and a half chaos and i'm going to explain why so straight off the bat when you vile a map it's going to turn the map into a corrupted map which means you can no longer modify it any further um any map that is corrupted has a chance to drop a sacrificial fragment, which I'm going to show you guys now. And these range from around 1 chaos each to uh, 2 chaos each, and sometimes up to 3 to 4 uh, based on the league time. So these fragments always drop off the end map boss, and they have around a 1 in 3 shot at dropping. So every 3 maps should drop you a sacrificial fragment, sometimes more, sometimes less, obviously. So straight off the bat, a Valorb basically pays for itself 1 in 3 maps, which is really interesting. But there's also other mechanics which come into play here, and we'll talk about them now. So when you Val a map, you'll get 4 different outcomes. You'll either corrupt the map with no effect, meaning it'll just become corrupted and have a chance to drop a sac fragment, which is not the best outcome. It'll destroy the map, uh, basically, by upgrading it to a different map on the Atlas. So if I evolved this um, tower map, it would have a chance to turn into a different map on the Atlas, meaning I can no longer run the map I wanted to run, and it becomes something else. So I consider that pretty much bricked or destroyed. So that's a very bad outcome. The next outcome is that it changes the map's modifiers and makes it have eight of them. So this outcome is the best outcome a lot of the time because remember when we talked about modifiers, they add item quantity, they add pack size, which is more monsters, and they also add item rarity. So when we're talking about this, we're basically talking about tons more map returns, more loot, and in a group it's going to be even more insane, and we get the fragment on top of it. So that outcome is very powerful, and that's what Vile Orbs are all about. So that's the best outcome. So we have destroying it, do nothing, uh, very powerful outcome, and the last one here is to make the map unidentified. So what this does is it basically changes nothing. It just turns all the mods um, unidentified, meaning you can't see them anymore, but they remain the same. The bonus to this is whenever you run an unidentified map, it has 30% increased item quantity on it. So if you think about it that way, it's kind of like having six chisels. Um, so when we think about the last outcome there, six chisels, pretty bad, not bad there. For 1.5 chaos, we're basically getting... Um, three chaos worth of stuff there. Um, the next one is going to increase our map's item quantity significantly. Generally, it's by about 40 to 30 percent. So again, that's six to eight chisels there. That's very worth it for the Valor. And then the other two aren't too great. One is no effect, and the last one is going to basically destroy a map, meaning you'll lose that alchemy orb you invested there as well as the map. So now with all this information, we can understand Valorbs are very powerful, but they have a risk to kind of make you lose your maps and kind of go negatively on sustain. So where do we want to use the Valorb? So the place I like to use the Valorb is on lower tier maps that I have an abundance of. So yellow maps that I can over sustain using the technique we learned in the last video are a very good target for Vile Orbs because when you do use the Vile Orb, if you can kind of sacrifice some of the maps, you're going to make profit off it. You're going to make money off the sacrificial fragment, the more quantity, um, the unidentified thing, and all that kind of stuff, which is very good. Um, in addition to this, when you're rolling the new modifiers with the 8 mod 1, you can roll stuff which you can't run, like Reflect, or Temporal Chains, or uh, more monster life or something like that that makes using vile orbs very risky on high tier maps so kind of my rule of thumb is i'll use vile orbs on low tier maps but i'll shy away from it on high tier maps specifically ones i'm having trouble sustaining like tier 13s or 14 shape maps which i really value every map i don't want to be destroying those by making them have reflect on them or by upgrading them to some other random shaped map so i shy away from that on there and then on guardian maps 
you can't upgrade a Guardian map higher, but you can roll Reflect on it and stuff like that, which does make it a little bit spooky, especially when the Guardians are some of the toughest bosses in the game. So, kind of to sum up, Using it on lower tier maps is going to net you quite a lot of profit, as long as they're not too expensive in the economy currently. And then on Guardian maps, it's kind of up to you. It can yield more Guardian maps than normal, which is very good, but it can also make the map unrunnable or too hard for your build. On red maps, you're risking destroying the map um, or making it very difficult to run, meaning it's very much a risk factor. Half the time, you're going to potentially ruin your map which is very, very interesting. So that's kind of the theory behind the Vilob for me. However, in a league start situation, I will Vile every single map because the one very bad outcome of upgrading a map to plus one is actually a net good outcome because you're trying to progress the Atlas. So if I'm doing a tier six map like Ashton, actually let's pick it up on Armory, and I Vile it and it turns into Vault, that's fine by me. I can now get that higher tier map for free basically. And I get the Sacrificial Fragments and all of the other good quantity bonuses. So that's those three currencies. Um, just to skim over it, Alk every map, chisels on maps you want to sustain and are having trouble sustaining or in groups, Valobs on maps, again, you want to sustain or having trouble sustaining, or maps that um, you have too many of and you just want to throw them away and you don't really mind if they get destroyed, specifically white and yellow maps. Caution when using it on Guardian maps, but can be very profitable as well. So now we understand why we want to be using all the currencies and in what situations we're going to be using them. I just really kind of want to sum it up and talk about the price points of all the currencies. So let's go for it. Alchemy orbs are an exception to this. You always want to be using alchemy orbs every single time. Every map doesn't matter the price. Always use them. Very, very powerful. You cannot not use them. So that's alks. Let's talk about chisels really quick. I'm going to kind of give you my opinion here. So right now, chisels are around 1 chaos to 2, as we talked about earlier. That is very expensive, in my opinion. I like to run maps when they're around 1 chaos to 3 chisels. I think that's fair. And at the start of the league, I was buying them at 1 chaos to 5 chisels. So when you're doing the majority of your mapping, I tend to stop using chisels by myself at around 2 to 2.5 per chaos. And then I like to use them around 3 to 4 to 8. Any higher than 3 is fine. Um, that's kind of my opinion on chisels. Because I believe the Vilob is much more valuable, and I'd rather use the Vilob over Chisels um, when I'm kind of mapping solo. If I can get a one Chaos investment for 30 to 40% quantity versus 20%, I'm going to do that instead of um, using Chisels. However, you can use both of them and use even more quantity. So that's Chisels. Vilobs right now are kind of in vogue. Everyone loves Vilobs, and they are very popular. As such, they are quite expensive. I still think they are well and truly worth it, though. Um, Valobs add so much quantity to your map as we did the maths earlier versus chisels and you have the fragments and you don't really lose too much when you kill a map you just lose the Valob and the alchemy orb and you gain that easily back when you're running stuff like maps with sextants and um, influence and stuff like that so I think Valobs are worth it all the way up to probably two chaos um, past that point I probably wouldn't buy them anymore um, but at one chaos and below they're extremely worth it and I'd buy them all and vol every map that it felt safe to vol on Having said that, I would consider Vileing my high tier maps if I thought I could sustain them enough. The only real factor with Vileobs is, am I destroying my map pool and going negative here by bricking maps by upgrading them one tier? That's the question you guys need to answer for yourself. So we'll be talking about sextants next. I will do the older ring guide. I know a lot of you guys are asking, but I want to make sure everyone understands the entire mapping process with my guides before I get to something as complicated as the Elder Ring. Um, if you guys are really interested and you want the Elder Ring stuff now, check out Carve's channel. Um, he will answer all your questions. I know he's got a lot of videos on it as well. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. Um, Sextants coming up next. Um, probably, probably Prophecies and um, Xanamods in the same day, so you guys can look forward to that. There'll probably be two separate videos to keep them short and precise. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.